Hey guys, how's it going? All right, so we are going to do a little project with um, some wood cutouts here. So I've got a mermaid, a sea turtle, and a dolphin. So we are going to use the sea turtles. And this card was pretty much inspired by um, Liz, my Canada Liz, <laughs> and, um, and Brandy the left-handed crafter. So, anyway, Brady sent me these, and Liz, of course, you know, she, well, she loves sea turtles, but she sent me my good luck charm from my desk here. Um, he's always helping me craft, and then this guy is too. He is my craft wizard. So, anyway, enough about the desk. Um, all right, I'm gonna put some of this up here so that I don't get it too messy. So this is gonna be mixed media. I don't know for sure if I'm going to turn behind me and get something here. Oh, this is what I'm getting, y'all. Uh, it's just different paints and stuff. Um, so, move that over there. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't know if I want to use paints or sprays. I have them both out. Let's do one of both. I have them both out, so... Um, I want the turtles to be, I've got several kind of greenish stuff uh, cut. I don't think it's gonna take much at all. Probably not even that much. Is that basically the same color? I think it is. Two different brands, apparently. I don't really do a whole lot with paints. I'm gonna start um, doing a, a little, that's more bluish. Do we want to, probably going to go with some copper or gold, but I'm not sure where my gold is, so we're just going to go with that. Um, we might need a little sand color, which is unbleached titanium in, in their eyes. Does it have a thing on it? It could be dried up. Nope, it's got a thing on it. <laughs> There's like always a 50% chance that my stuff is dried up. <laughs> because it takes me a while to use it. Sometimes I buy things and don't use it for years. So, but it's like I'm going to get to it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I will use it at some point. I just, uh, I don't know. It's just that someday thing. Alright, so I know I don't. I may or may not need this. This is lime. I think that one really is dried up. That one has been like super old. I don't know. Maybe. Ah, well. Well, let's try this one. I wasn't going to use any purple, but I was going to save that for. Yep. Oh, wow. That one is hard as I rock, y'all. Oh. A little squishy right there. I don't think they're supposed to be like that. I think those are probably goners. Okay, so I'll tell you what. So for paint. Oh, that one's got a thing too, I guess. Um, I want to say these were from back in the day, like AC Moore. Could have been Michael's, I don't know. Does anybody still have an AC Moore? I think they all closed, but I'm not totally sure. Um, all right, so I'm gonna move these back over here, out of our way for a bit. Okay. I need a I need a green. Let me check over. I think those are all blues. Nope, there's a green.
a little bit too much. But that's okay. Then we should just do more projects, right? That is our new goal. I'm going to do some mermaids. Probably not in this video because apparently I'm already taking too long. But, um, so let's just go over it with this bright green here. I'm not sure how long it actually takes to dry. I probably should have thought about that. But, yeah, well, we'll see. And I do want to go ahead and paint around all the edges this time. So, I think I showed you guys that picture of the turtle the other day. It was in my driveway, didn't I? It's a cute little thing. The dogs. <laughs> Let me give you a doggy update. Uh, a bark. We'll call it a bark update. Or a bark bite. So, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um... Why do, I, why do I feel the need to name everything? I don't know. Uh, they're <laughs> mischievous uh, right now. Actually, Brownie, the um, female, is quite well behaved, I have to say. She just will go be beside of whatever that Copperhead Dan is doing. And um, so, like today. Okay, so I got out this morning <coughs> and... Uh, can I use the same one? I only brought two of these. Yeah, I'll go get more if I need it. Um, so I just want little squishes. Not specifically painted of this one. I, I actually like the whole texture thing, so I might just kind of go with some of that. Um, and then, yeah, some coffee. I don't know how to anything up here. Anything? I'm looking at my thing. Give me one second and I'll be right back. Just get my brush on the other side of the room over here. Or a sponge thing. Okay, I got it. I'm back. Did you miss me? Okay. Um, so I'm going to add just a hint of copper to this one. Anyway, so the doggies were, um, well, when I first went out, I had fixed the food and I gave them a new type of wet food and the same type of dry that, that I normally give them. And, um, I didn't take out any treats or anything first. I just, we were just going to have breakfast. It was like super hot. I just wanted to come back in for a little while. I had a long day yesterday, which I went to a craft festival, which I'll tell you guys about later. Um, okay. I like the hint of copper there. So, let's see. I brought this thing too. It's like a texture thing. Um, so, let's see how the sprays do. I have a turquoise. I don't think I want turquoise yet. I've got an aloe, a sage, and a lime, maybe. Let's try that. I feel like those would be similar colors, maybe. I don't want too much lime. So let's start with the sage. I don't know if you're. I can't remember. I've got to watch more videos on these. I did when I was like gonna buy them, but then I didn't later. So I don't know. Um, I can't remember what you what you kind of do with them. You know what I'm saying? So this is gonna be more of a muted turtle. And there we can add some bright spots to them if we wanted. Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, dab it off this time. Okay. I'm just going to let it soak in and see, see how much it does. So I'm going to set this to the side right now. Um, of course we did add copper, right? So, is this a, I had those ones out that did or did not work little sparkly tail. 
and yep, tip the tail, so you know. Where are my tip the tail? Oh, I've lost them. I'm like, So I am going to dab that one just a bit. So let me hit them with the heat gun one time. Let me get that. It's already plugged up. I just didn't bring it over here. Okay. sure that's really ooh, it's not enough for that one um, I'm gonna try a little bit of the dark green on this okay ooh that is dark but I don't think I mind it I kind of like it we're gonna go with that so let's dry them both a bit. Close enough. All right, so let me show you some of the cards I've got here. So I cut this seaweed dye out, and I just picked some kind of bright colored whatever, you know. Um, but I think I'm going to stamp a border, or at least I'll try. I've got two greens, neither of which right now I feel like is going to work. Huh. I don't know about that. Let me rethink that a second. Try these. These do not stamp very well, unfortunately. I mean, they do stamp well, but it's like it takes two or three times of doing it. But I don't guess it's going to be a little rustic, so. Um, not rustic, but. You know how you can't. The mixed media stuff, it doesn't really matter. Like what you do is just. It's a hot mess, um, but then it kind of comes together at the end. So. Let's go with some teal cave. No, no, it's too dark. Volcano Lake. Let's see if this will show up at all. These are so hard to get open. So hard. Ah. Ugh, okay. Um, so this is just going to be, I hope, oh yeah, that'll work, that'll work. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to alternate these for right now. And then maybe a little texture in between those. some larger ones anyway so back to the doggies um, so they're doing well but uh, just getting into everything and they this morning like I said I, so I set the bowls down because um, I've been trying to feed them over at the neighbor that doesn't really live there exactly um, at her under her carport right so it's nice and cool and shaded and you know whatever but um that's what my father had originally wanted me to do because so they wouldn't like get used to staying over here but that's just not gonna happen they're here all the time so i don't really see the point of that but whatever we did it 
Um, so, but anyway, so I came back to get some cold water because, I mean, they have water over there and they have extra water out here, but I like to give them, you know, a little bottle of water sometimes just because it's cold and, you know, it's hot day. And, uh, so anyway, um, so I, I just set the bowls down in my driveway and my driveway has gravel in it. And, um. So, I mean, it literally, I was not in here very long at all. And, uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> I should have sort of planned it, I feel like, a little bit. You know what I mean? But, but we didn't. Um, so, by the time I got back out there, which was not long, um, both bowls, it was covered in gravel. They were both covered in gravel. And there was this pile, like he had kicked gravel on it. And I know it was copper because he was just looking all guilty and he just does stuff. And uh, so I thought, okay. And like I said, I had switched the type of food. So I'm assuming he did not want that. Um, it was, I think it was the pedigree brand maybe uh, of wet food. And, <laughs> and just their regular Purina One Dry. And, uh, I don't know. I thought, well, so you can't eat that. So, and then I had discovered that they also, which, which is my fault, we have, like, two giant trash cans, big things, you know, that we put the trash down in. And, um, usually holds it fine, but lately we've had a little extra. And, um, I've been cleaning out and doing some stuff. But anyway, so I set the bag of trash on top of another bag. But it had, like, the tie things, the red tie things hanging down. And I didn't think anything about it because my dogs are never out of the yard and they're not, like, out there. And, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one, too, y'all, while, while I have that out and give those time to dry anyway. Um, so, I don't know why I put that back on there. Okay. Um, that's not even going to matter. It's okay. Um, so... They uh, had a little party at the trash can and we got out some water bottles and plates and things and um, drug those all over the kind of like that side of the driveway. Now, mind you, I just bought them um, a tire toy and a ball toy with a rope thing and some other little thing. And um, I've also given them a couple of my dog's toys that Rosie, she's the only one they ever really played with. Well, Rusty will but he doesn't, he just wants them if they squeak and he wants to kill the squeaker. That's pretty much his only goal. <laughs> so, um, but none of them ever played with, with toys except Rosie. And she doesn't really want full of that now. She's a little older, so. Um, but anyway, uh, but yeah, I mean, they'll pick them up occasionally, but they don't really play with them or chew on them. They just want to, you know, do other stuff like tear up the trash. <laughs> but again, like I said, that was, that was my fault because I should not have left the strings down. That's, you know, very interesting to a puppy. So, my bad, right? Um, so, I cleaned that up. I got them a different type of food and, but they weren't really interested in eating today. I don't know. Maybe it was just too hot. I'm not sure. But, uh, usually they're good eaters. They eat, I feed my dogs more, like, at night. I just give them treats and things during the day. Um, because the vet, you know, put them on a diet. I was feeding them twice a day, always, their whole life. But, um, and treats and stuff. But that was a little bit much. So, we've, we've gone to the once a day thing plus treats. And that seems to be doing okay. But, um, so, but I've been feeding these twice a day plus treats because they're, you know, I don't know, I feel like homeless and like they just need more and maybe health wise. I don't know. Um, but I think I'm going to start feeding them because they're getting pretty picky on things. Even the treats, like if I don't bring the good treats, they're like, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, so maybe they were telling me they didn't like this and they piled the gravel on top. So I just went ahead and picked both bowls up and put them in the trash can that I was bringing a trash bag, new trash bag out, 
to put all that and the old trash bag in anyway. So tomorrow's trash day. Hopefully they'll get that out of there and they won't have a chance to get anything else. Um, and the day before that, they, um, all right, let's look at this real quick. All right, so we've got that one and we've got that one. And this is gonna house some extra stuff or maybe, should we do that and that? Which one looks better? I feel like that's a little brighter, so maybe that should go over there. And I'm almost thinking about, even though I'm gonna add just a hint more of this texture and this color to this one, because I feel like it matches that background a little bit better. And it's going to be covered up with some other stuff too. So, all right, let's heat this one more time. Let's add just a little bit of this with this. Spotty, spotty little texture. So, well, Brandy, did you get some for yourself when you got me these? I'd love to see what you did with yours as well, if you've, if you did, or if you've done anything yet, or if you're like me and just like they're in the stash to use. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, so this one's going to be more bright. This one's going to be more subdued, okay? Okay. So, next, I don't know yet. Should I glue it down and then do all the stuff, or? Hmm. I don't know. I cut out. Now, these might be more for the mermaids. So I was just cutting out some uh, net and things like that. So these are the three that I have. So I'm thinking not for that one for sure. But I could do that one. And just let it peek out here and there. I don't know. You can't really see it very well. So, um, Or I could do it on top of there. No. Hot mess. Okay. No. That's a no. Um... Have it tucked out from the side, possibly. You know how things float around in the ocean. I imagine you see lots of old nets and whatnot. But I'm going to put so much over top of it that I don't know if it's actually going to, if you're actually going to see anything. But maybe. We'll do it on one. We won't on the other, maybe. How's that? Okay. And maybe this one, I almost like it better with these colors. I think I like it better over here. Because we could, could add the rope one down there. Scoot that up there. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. All right. So let's give this a glue when we find the glue. And then we'll add our other stuff on. Okay, so anyway, when I went out before, um, the day before that, uh, my father had had a big old, you know, those big orange heavy-duty extension cord things. And... Uh, uh, luckily it wasn't plugged up only like one thing outside was so um, but not to the like the power I guess you could say um, but they it's been there the whole time and they hadn't bothered anything but I, it was too high I've tried to move like I know how puppies are so I try to move everything out of their way except toys and things like that and um, 
because you would not believe what all they find and I mean it's just like wow where did and then they're getting a little bit adventurous so they're um, heading over like to the neighbor's house and things and uh, you never know what you're gonna find over there so um, they drag in like old milk jugs and they just throw random trash in the yard it's nasty but um, <coughs> so sometimes they drag home that stuff I can't really do anything about that part I guess but um but I don't want them to chew up anything you know good and uh, so and I've been a little worried that her giant pit bull was uh, going to hurt them or something and because they're like I said just out in my driveway I don't have them in, in a fence or anything and uh, so so far he's he, the pit bull has done pretty well with them and just kind of strongly looks at them when they're around but nothing nothing major so I'm happy about that but that's the where they go get the trash is at his house so maybe I don't know maybe they're starting to play or something at night I don't know and uh, but whatever they <laughs> in the morning when I get up they are they've got something usually and uh, oh and <laughs> the last time um, and I did offer to buy my father. I was going to get him one the day I went out anyway. And that's the day he noticed. Because that was the first day I noticed. Um, he said, Have you got anything? Were you, you turning on this light or whatever? I'm like, uh, no. Why? And he said, those dogs have chewed that up already. <laughs> and But we had a big windstorm. And it, it like knocked the part that I had like tucked up under there down so it was hanging you don't have anything hanging puppies don't do hanging they have to explore that you know so um again my fault but uh anyway he I was gonna just buy him an extension cord back put it in the same spot none the wiser right and everybody thinks the doggies are still good boys and girls and um but anyway, that didn't work out because he did notice. But he said definitely do not get another one. That he's got plenty and whatever. He's got a bunch in the garage, and so it's fine. But uh, but I still think I mean I just don't want him to mess up his stuff. And I did get him a new chair the other day, um, like the wider chairs. I think I told you guys about that. Uh, he has one, and but we only have like two matching chairs out there. They're like kind of like a black iron type metal, you know, and then we have, um, his big brown one that he sits in, and it holds, like, up to 350 pounds, it's kind of wider, and it's just easier for him to get in and out of, and, um, when he sits out there and has coffee or whatever, and so, um, I found a matching one, that one came last year, and, but I found a matching one at the Dollar General store this year, so, I picked that up the other day and told him it, you know, it was in, in hopes of him getting back out and then finding a home and that the future is coming and the dogs won't be here forever, I promise, and all that good stuff. So, um, anyway, but, um, so I still might pick him up a cord just because. We'll see. But I don't want them to, like, mess up anything of anybody's. Um, but that's just, you know, that's what puppies do. They're just curious and things, so. Ugh. And it would be a lot easier if I could have them in the yard and secure and, you know, where I could watch them better and limit their exposure to everything. But not working out right now so okay <clears throat> so let's do this one now should have had all this part done but we can chat a while right it's Sunday and I don't have anything major to do the laundry is done the dishes are done it's actually looking like a storm coming in again, again, oh my goodness, but whatever, those summer storms, you know, Ugh. oh well, let me get this off my fingers, y'all, 
But yeah, they're, the doggies are doing good. <laughs> the little girl, she's, like I said, the boy, he gets into a lot of stuff. And she just kind of stands there with him, but looking at him like, hmm, we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> and uh, she's so sweet. She, she really needs a lot of love, though. I mean, like, she would rather definitely eat. I mean, definitely get petted instead of eat and just love. And But she doesn't love on you like a regular dog, exactly. She is very... I'll describe it. I don't know. Um, she, like, lays into your leg on you. And she just... It's almost like she's wrapped herself around, like, hugging you or something. And it's... But it's a... It's like a desperate hug. You know what I mean? It's... Um, I don't know. And she is just the happiest if she is touching you or you're touching her. Like, um, when you quit petting her or whatever, she'll, like, gnaw on your hand a little bit. And it's so cute. But, uh, yeah, she definitely needs lots and lots of love and just reassurance and things. He, He's all up in your business, too, but in a different way. Like, he is just like, here I am, look at me, pet me. But um, he stopped overall like anything at night all that he stopped his um crying and things like that he's very he seems pretty secure in that and that you're coming back and um all that good stuff so that's good but um and he quit that more so when she came too because i feel like that just gave him company and he wasn't alone and <coughs> that kind of thing so i was i was happy about that uh, the lady that, um, that I found on Facebook, like one of the rescue groups, she told me to call her back on Thursday, and I did. I called her a little bit earlier than probably, she said the evening, and I just could not wait to the evening, so I called her earlier. Um, but I didn't hear back from her until Saturday morning, and all she did was text and say, um, has the meal been neutered or not? And I said, no, you know, he, um, he hasn't. And, uh, and so she texted back like a thumbs up, like, you know, okay. So maybe she still remembers them and is going to try. And I don't know, but I need, I need some help, y'all. I need the baby's a good home. But for now, they're here. <laughs> but they really, <laughs> they really do light up your life. Like, puppies and kittens like I I can't handle the puppy phase again I don't think but um it's well usually I don't have like two puppies at the same time well I have actually once um but they're just like puppies and kittens they just bring so much life to you you know and I'm a person that's that's never wanted children of my own. Like, I love kids. I love working with kids. And I think they're fabulous. And um, I think part of me is meant to do that. But I, I just don't want my own kids. And it's not that, you know, I can't have them. I get, well, I guess I can. I don't know. Um, I assume. <laughs> but um, it's just not something that I have wanted in my life. Like, I, you know, I just want to do other things. I want to travel and things. I don't know. So, um. I don't want to come home and change diapers and do bedtime bath and whatever, but um, but I do love animals and I do always want dogs in my life. Um, although they're handfuls, they're <laughs> kind of like a child, but not quite to that extreme, I guess. Okay. So, oh, well, <laughs> one more thing they did. Well, let me put some of this on here. I'll stop talking about them. I feel like if I should just title this dog. Dog video number 14. Because that's all I feel like I talk about right now. So I apologize if you are not into dogs right now. So I've got these. And I want to put some of these on them. And I might should get hot glue out and do that. I don't know. I have these which came as like, I think they're supposed to be dragon scales. But I thought those would be kind of neat on there. And then I have, um, some different types of sequins. I don't know. Have some littler ones. Maybe that one. I 
I don't know, y'all. Got some shells that I want to do. And I've got this gorgeous um, rope here that Misty sent, but I want to, and, and I have enough. It's not, I mean, it's okay, but I kind of want to save that for my mermaid stuff. Although that could add some texture. I could just do a little bit. And, and I finally, this, I looked for this for like a hundred years for the last few days. I've had this bottle forever of sand. I've moved it and moved it and moved it. And then when I try to reorganize my room, I moved it this last time. Could not find it. Finally found it. Oh my gosh. It, <laughs> yeah, it was not good. <laughs> I was not talking pretty, y'all. I was not, um... All right, so what I'm going to do, is I'm just, oh, you know what, well, I'll add some more on top of it. I haven't added all my seaweed and stuff like that, I forgot about that. So we're just going to add a good amount of glue, which I really should get out my hot glue gun, I feel like, for this, but... That's what we have, so we're just going to we're just gonna sprinkle some here and there. And then I might sprinkle some. You think it'd be too much to put some sand? I was going to put sand in between here, but I want some sand on him as well. Ugh. We'll see. Anyway, so the doggies, um, well, dog, I shall say. Because, <laughs> again, it was not the girl. It was the boy. He, <laughs> he's a, something else. Um. Uh, that one's a little bit big. There's a, a pink one somehow in there. Um, do you guys ever bring back shells from the beach? What do you do with them if you bring them back? Do you do like little arts and crafts? Or do you put them in a, um, like a vase or a tablescape? Or my mother put some in the flower bed once all around. Um. Those were pretty, and I wanted to do a lamp, but I didn't. <laughs> As usual with my stories, like, I have big dreams, and then I don't quite get to it. Uh, put one right there. That's a little bit large, but I think it'll be okay. So, I need to, before I do this one, I'm going to have this one dry a minute. And we're going to color up some of these things. So for my seaweed, I'm just going to give it some sprays and see where we go with that. Oopsie. Dropped out. Okay. Well, I've colored some of these too, and I didn't mean to, but well, hmm. let me just move that there a second. Turtle kind of fell off. Okay, so I just wanted to add some extra. Um, kind of some extra pieces here and there. And 
And I don't even know if we'll keep these. Sorry, y'all. This is turning into like <laughs> super long, isn't it? And then we'll put some more shells and things over the bottom to kind of um, seal it up. I can see now that I need to cut more of these. Where'd that guy go? Okay, so he's there. I kind of I like that. I like that. Um, should I put a few right there, or how about some? How about some like fake shells, like that we might spray up here and there? I think maybe we'll go for some of that. Hmm. That's where we could bring in some purple, actually, and do some of these. I don't know. I don't know. If I mess up too bad, I can use the other side of him. So let's go ahead and glue some of these down. Um, so anyway, the neighbor is having sewage problems. And um, so she's, they're digging and doing, I don't know what. Um, but anyway, they're digging way down to, like, I don't know, like the forks of the road here or something. And uh, so the doggies are intrigued by all the people and all the noise over there. And they're, like I said, they're getting more brave and going out and exploring just a little bit. They don't go too far, just, a, you know, a little up that way and a little down this way. But that happens to be this way. So, um... And honestly, I wish they would go somewhere else, but not, maybe not safest place, that house, but anyway, um, they, as long as you're there with them, I mean, they'll be right with you, but you gotta go in the house at some point, right, uh, yourself, so, but anyway, so they're doing the sewage thing, and, um, one of them, the boy, <laughs> um, stepped in or was digging in I don't know the sewage stuff and oh my gosh I bent down and I was like I get doggy kisses and all that good stuff and I could smell I was like oh my god what is that smell buddy and I realized oh no and so both of them had gotten at least a drink of water over there um, they must have quickly learned their lesson because they did not do that anymore and I didn't smell it ever again so that's good um but I mean it stunk like it wasn't just like poop it was like I don't know what kind of smell that was but it was nasty and uh so I was like oh no and then um so that he just had it on one paw and uh um and then both had it on their breath and so that wasn't too bad, you know, like, that's whatever. So I wiped his paw off and everything and I had him get a drink of good water. Um, I gave them some dentist sticks, so for fresh breath and that kind of thing. And I thought, oh no, but whatever. So they made it through that. And then the next day, um, the, the boy dog copper, copper, we'll just call him copper for short. Um, he, let's see, I'm going to use one more of these. Over on this side. Um, he uh, must have went in a little deeper <laughs> because he had it on his back and then he had it um, on his paws. And I knew instantly when I saw it, like, that's not mud. It's not just mud, anyway. And I uh, thought, oh, no, man, come on. And so I thought I had the day to myself to craft and to whatever. But, no, we gave, well, I gave the dogs a bath. And uh, 
yeah, yippee skippy. So, and she, she was so good. She sat there, like, and he did really, really good in the bath. And, um, he, uh, I just did it outside and, um, let the, well, I use their, I have like a giant storage thing for them to drink out of because I'm hyper that dogs are somehow going to run out of water or something. And then I've got them a smaller water container and then I bring them fresh water, like, you know, the cold water or something. Um, but I don't know why I always think that <laughs> they're going to run out of water. I do that with my dogs too. Like they have 97 containers around of water. I just, I don't know. Anyway, um, so I guess that one wants to come out. So we'll put him on there. I don't know if I got enough glue on there. So let me stick a little glue in between here and hopefully that'll, that will hold them there. Just here and there. A little of that big one. I hope I hope this cardstock kind of holds up to all this. We shall see. I will I'll tell you what guys, I <laughs> I know this is getting so long. I won't do the others. I will just um try to do try to do the one. So maybe it should be going up, swimming up, up, up and away. Okay, so, but anyway, yeah, the bath thing. So they um, <coughs> start adding some stuff to him. I don't know quite what yet. I'm just going to put a lot of glue and then we'll... We'll kind of figure it out, okay? If we don't use it, it can just be shiny. I'm going to try a little of this. Do you think? Maybe. Maybe just on the top edge of his shell, like he's got a shiny shell and all dressed up. He's going out for a night on the sea. Okay, so that's, that's not bad. Let's put a few around here too. I don't know. <laughs> I knew I wanted to do this. I just hadn't thought it through. And everything is sticking to me. Okay. So what else? So we're going to add some of these things. You think? That's a large one there. I want different, but large could work. I want different types of texture. So that could be okay. Just sprinkle those on and see what we get. I can't get that one out now. Okay, everything is just sticking to me and not going to the turtle. Um, but anyway, so Copper did really well in the bath. He didn't try too hard to run away, except the very beginning. And um, But after that, he chilled out and realized what was going on, and he kind of liked it. The water was warm and all that good stuff, and um, so he was, he was grooving on that. Um, but... Uh, and she laid literally, right, just like touching the back of my leg and watching what was going on while I was doing his bath. And she hadn't gotten in it, so she didn't really, I'm going to get a baby wipe here off of, I've got to wipe his hands off for a second. Um, she didn't get in it, 
and um, this time I, she did get to drink the first time because I could smell it on her breath. It was gross. But, uh, um, so I wasn't planning on giving her a bath, but she just seemed so like she just wanted to be a part of it that I decided, well, I mean, you could use the bath, I guess, whatever. Um, so we did that. And what else can I add to this, y'all? I don't know. Um, can add a little pearl here, maybe. Just maybe, yeah. It'll be like pearl paint, I guess. Let's add some of these, um, Nouveau Dream Drops here. But we're just gonna, instead of making them drops, we're just gonna spread them out with our finger. Um, didn't get any under all that glue, but I think it'll be okay. Because to be honest, I'm not really sure what else to do. I don't know if I want to cover the whole turtle, because then it takes up, like, the turtle look, you know what I mean? I'm not sure. What do y'all think? Half a turtle, or the whole turtle? Alright, so... Let's let that dry and we'll think on it, okay? So, so it's kind of here. We've got little sharks and things like that that it cuts out. We might do some little turtles as they swoosh by. Um, and we'll get another piece of paper out here because we may spray these a different color. There are a couple seahorses. Those could be kind of greenish. And then we could do some of these as purplish and green and whatever color. All right. I did not get out any purple spray, so give me just a second. Let's stick to the two purples for now. I'd like to just stick with purple and green, although I do really like those, but. Let's put these down here a little. Make sure they're turned over the right way. Shake these up just a little bit. My Lord, what time am I on? I can't even see. Anyway, so I was telling you I went to the craft festival yesterday, and I'm so proud of myself. Like, seriously proud. Um, this is the only time in my life, really, that I did not buy anything at any kind of festival I went to. Um, I didn't buy anything. Like, not even, we were, well, okay, so we went, and it's a, at a really pretty place. We went a few years ago. Uh, pre-COVID, and um, give those turtles just a splash, one little tiny splash, and then we'll try to get those in more of this green here. The spray is like all over the place and not very centered. Are y'all like that, the oxide sprays? Um... So I'm just going to 
just for fast drying, I am going to go ahead and put a piece of paper over this and kind of go over them once because we don't want to wait all day. And then they stick to this paper. I'll peel them back off. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we can do now. Um, anyway, it was like a really peaceful looking place. Um, it was like a as a state park. I think it's a state park. Anyway, um, but it's got like a swimming. Yeah, I like this. It can have like a little sea sea turtle buddy. So this can be Brandy or this can be Liz, and this will be me swimming with them, going, "Hey, hang on, wait for me." Um. I like it. We're gonna add it. Okay, so but now I have these guys too. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> since Brandy and Liz inspired it, me, Brandy, and Liz are all gonna be on the paper. There we go. We're all gonna swim on. Oh, look at that. Oh, well. Okay, and does anybody wanna be the seahorse, huh? Swim along with us. Tuck a little seahorse right there, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to give this one more tiny spritz. I need that to be a little bit darker. Okay. Um... Well, you know what? After I sprayed them, it's hard to see uh, some of the detail in them. I don't want that one. This is the type that you kind of hold up to your ear, isn't it? And hear the little ocean. You guys ever, have you ever found any of those on the beach? Those are fun to find found one. We went on a, well, we were in Myrtle Beach, but we um, went on down to Georgetown and did like a little lighthouse tour, and they drop you off over on the island for a little bit, and then like it's like an hour or something, and they come back and get you, and uh, so uh, I found a really big one there. I was so excited. Yeah. It will bring out the purple more, but we're going to have to I don't know. I don't know. I almost feel like they need to be a little green as well. You know what I mean? Like purple, but green too. So, I'm going to take all these back off. And I'm going to spritz a little green mess it up. Could make it fabulous. You just don't know. Neither do I is the problem. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. That Just that many. I don't think we need all these. I like that right there. It adds a little pop of purple. It allows me to put a little, little something something up here. And what could I add a little hint of purple here with? Uh, any brushes. I've got these. It's very, I don't know if I can paint with these though. Well, it does say, I think they are paint. Hmm. I think I've got one of the oops in the finger. Um, let's spray a little in here. See if we can just paint ever so slightly around here. I like this. I like this. It's making him come alive a little bit. 
anyway, so we went to the craft festival yesterday, and it was, there was like a little lake thing over there, and it was really pretty, and I did not uh, expect to see so many people there. There were way more than previous, um, well, we only been once, so the previous time we had been, um, but not, the vendors were not, like, as great, I thought, um, so shockingly, like I said, I did not buy anything, and I was so proud of myself um, for just, not just not buying, but not actually wanting anything. Because I did see some really cool um, prints of, like, uh, ocean stuff and goddess stuff and um, some nice trees and things like that. And um, and my boyfriend was kind of hoping to find me a birthday present, which is not until November, so that he likes to shop early and find, you know, special things or whatever. And if I see something... Um, so he was pointing out a lot of stuff. What do you think about this? I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm good. And, uh, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and glue this guy down. Where's his head? Wait, <laughs> he's swimming that way. That's him. Okay. Um, but basically only that one table did I really see anything that I liked? So, um, and now the, there was like this little wood place that I got a ring at last year, which I did like that, but since I got one last year, like, you know, don't really need that again. And, um, but anyway, so then we were going to get like some sort of festival food and we were kind of, there was like several different places. Um, you couldn't get everything, like get one or two places. So... I was thinking a hamburger. He was thinking maybe a barbecue or Polish sausage, both of which were like, I don't know, I think 10 or $11. Uh-oh, it says lightning has been detected in my area, y'all. That's not good. Um, but anyway, so, like I said, those were a little expensive, but not, I mean, it's basic festival pricing. And then we wanted a funnel cake, but then we also wanted, um, the curly potato things like the I don't know so we were going to do that and uh, um, I kind of wanted to try the chocolate covered what was it chocolate covered um, cheesecake and he was really wanting some fried Oreos <laughs> we were just like all over the place but then we both kind of decided like the lines were just so long we just didn't want to wait in the line and uh because, and then, you know, you had to get a drink or whatever. Well, we wanted some kind of lemonade that was like a berry something lemonade. And then that was like a different place. And I don't know. We were just going to be waiting forever. And we were done with the festival pretty, pretty quick. We made our lap and then we made like another half lap. And, um, I think my boyfriend only bought one book. So, um, yeah, that was there. He didn't really find that much either. Is that, what is that? I just must not have that glued down very well. Oh, I forgot I don't have that glued down. So, hey, I can do that. Um, he bought a book on some railroad. He's a, a definitely a rail fan. And, uh, okay. So, I am going to now add a few of these. I'm going to stop talking so much and focus on what I'm doing. And I guess I'm just going to have to add more up here, don't you think? Because, like, I don't know. I feel like it just cuts, cuts him off right there if I just stop right there. So, let's just see where it goes, I guess. Maybe I will cut it off his head and just do him like a little eye right there. What do you think? You could do... You could do a purple eye. If it won't stick to my finger. Okay. So... Drop a few. 
didn't get that one in there. Draw one, draw one. Maybe if they'll land on the other side would be really good. Maybe one large one right there. Couple here and there. Um, what do you guys, what's your favorite festival, you know, kind of food? Like, anyway, so what we did, we ended up, we decided to leave. We were talking to some cops there and um, about how far it was to, um, down to Withful and then the opposite way to Abington. And they were like, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. It was about the same distance either way. So uh, we decided, what the heck, we're going to go explore down there. Well, we actually went over to the other town, which normally always has a festival going on, and they did, but it's just not that great of a festival either. And, um, it's kind of small, too. And, uh, so we decided to boot scoot on down to, um, the interstate to, um, a place called Withful, Virginia. And we went to uh, the seven, I'll take a picture of it, hang on, to Seven Dogs Pub or Saloon? Yep, seven Dogs Pub, I think. It was like a, a little brewer, brewery place. Let me see if I can find it. Wait a second. Yes. Okay, so get it. The Seven Dogs Brew Pub. And here are all the dogs. Buddy. Ginger, Rascal, Tyson, Herschel, Daisy, and Sadie. And even for the dogs, you can bring your dogs in there and they can get a hamburger patty or a chicken breast. So it's so cute. I wish air prices were that well, but it was a little high on food, but it was, it was good. Um, he had a massive, like massive barbecue with coleslaw and fried onions and stuff like that. And we did get this little cute little stuffed cone, like an Oreo something there. So he didn't get his fried Oreos, but he did get a uh, piece of it but anyway and then there's one cat called Dizzy and it tells you the story and what type of dogs they were and you know you can on the menu you can like read all about it um so that was kind of cute but um anyway it uh the barbecue was really good I had a barbecue bacon cheeseburger which is what I was actually thinking about at the festival so worked for me and um uh, um, we, we still ended up spending a decent amount, but I feel like for the same amount we could have eaten there, he ended up with a couple of different beers that he tried, and, um, uh, plus their dessert and stuff like that, so it was, I still feel like it was okay, but, uh, anyway, and we would have went ahead and stayed, like, normally we still suck it up and get that fair food, you know, or festival, whatever, but, um, the lines, man, whoo, and we were, it was hot, it was like, it, I don't know, they were like, the way it was set up, it was nice, because, um, there were like shaded parts and trees and stuff, so parts of it was not bad at all, but, um, and we parked so far, like, I didn't even know that part of the park existed, we parked way closer last time, um, we kept we went up and up and up. We literally were on the top of a mountain, and um, but luckily they had some kind of little trolley, which I refer to as the COVID bus, because other people and riding, you know. <laughs> but it was so far up the mountain. I put on my mask and I just got in there. So, all right, guys, I just um, oh no, low battery. Oh goodness. I'm going to end it right here for now because I don't know how much my low battery thing is going to hold. But check this out and um, you will see more um, more of this one as well. And uh, I will figure out how to glue him down and all that good stuff. And I will show you guys at a later date. Or if you're Brandy or Liz, you're going to see this in the mail. So there you go. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. And um Thanks, Liz, for always inspiring me and sending me my little uh, cute little inspiration turtle here. And Brandy for sending me this awesome turtle in general. And again, I want to know if you use yours. Let me know. I, I need some other ideas. So, okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. And low, low battery power mode off. <laughs> Bye, y'all.